nice ladies welcome back to my channel this is slay days and yes i know i'm looking kind of busted right now but there's a purpose and cause for this reason today i'm actually going to be doing an eye well a full face tutorial i've already done my eyebrows and prepped my eyes already and prepped my face i just need to set these well my eyes rather because they're starting to crease with a powder and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match I don't know if you can see that my light is kind of bright here but I'm going to set that because it's beginning to crease already I've been watching YouTube and I know I'm a little bit late but I'm actually feeling like I've been pumped when I say I've been watching YouTube, I mean to say that I've been eyeing the crayon case by Supra, and I just had to have it. I waited and I waited because, you know, they've been on back order and they've been hard to come by, and I finally got my hands on one. I go on eBay and I order this crayon case, and this is what I get. Yes. I don't know if I've been pumped, but I guess you get what you pay for. Everybody else's palette that I have saw, saw, that's not even a word, that I've seen has been much bigger than this. Mine looks a tad bit small. It's the same colors, but All of the shades are much, much smaller. Much smaller. And it does come with a fabulous mirror. And that was another reason why I had to have it. But for some strange reason, I don't know. Everybody's on camera looks way bigger than mine. So I don't... Oh, I just dug my fingers in the blue. So, I don't know if I've been punked or not. Anywho. I always keep me some alcohol swabs on deck. I don't know what eyeshadow look I'm going for today. I know that I had won a, a unit off of YouTube. And I hadn't customized it. I just took a picture of it and... My brother was calling me Nicki Mafage. It is what it is. But I went ahead and I tried to customize a little bit. I still think I may have to um, do a little more customization to it. But I'm going to try to bring it out again and repost it and do it justice this time hopefully hopefully now with this eyeshadow look i I've, I've been trying and trying to do the eyeshadow look but every time i do a video someone calls my phone yes i do my videos from my cell phone so i get what i get and I don't proclaim to be a professional makeup artist, but I do what's good for me. And I hate really doing my eyes because of this freaking, I call it the sisterhood. This fold of skin goes right over my eyelid. So when I look straight forward, you can't see my eyelid. You see that? You can't see my eyelid. I look down, you can see it. I look up, you can't see it. So when I go to put my lashes on, and you know I'm going to put on some big lashes, you can't see my eyelid at all. So I have to do the extra work and go above my crease to get this eyeshadow look. So with that being said, I've prepped my eyes. I've done my eyebrows. I'm going to do my face last. Let's choose some colors. 
Okay, so I decided that I am going to play around with the yellow and the red. Seeing that I have on orange nails, let's play around with a little color today. Maybe I'll attempt to do a cut crease. Okay, I went in with the uh, the red, but with these you have to keep adding and building onto the color. Okay, I am having a lot of fallout. That red is not doing anything for me. I just, I don't know. Look at all this fallout. I'm gonna have a big mess to clean up. Looks like I have a freaking black eye. I went into the deep plum to darken up this other side, but I'll clean up the mess afterwards. There's a method to my madness. I get inspired by doing eyeshadow that is a little extreme, but I only do this on the weekends or if I'm going somewhere. On a daily basis, I wear the no makeup makeup look. And of course, like I said, I'm doing my makeup and my freaking phone is ringing. All right, so I'm tempted to do a cut crease. Like I said, I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't have a color scheme, but it is what it is. We're gonna try to make it work. Okay, these eyes are doing something. I don't know what. Let's judge them up some more. I don't know what else I can do to these eyes, so I'm just going to keep going with the flow and do some wing liner. Because, like I said, I didn't have a color scheme. I was just trying to wing it. And like I said, I don't know if I have the same palette as everyone else. Because the palette that I had, they're chalky, very chalky, and I can't get much pigment onto my eye. I keep have to go back and add color. But if you see, I've already reached pan on the plum. It's crackling up. So, I don't know. Maybe I got a bad batch. Like I said, this one doesn't look like the ones that I've seen advertised on YouTube. Everyone's pan look much better than mine. I don't know. But it is what it is. And I'm making a mess. Like, seriously. But anywho. Let's finish these eyes. All I can do is just finish what I got going on here. And I'm glad the kids have stopped. They're outside with M80s just going to work. Okay? Going to work. I had to pause my video a few times because it was just too loud. Absolutely too loud. 
getting this here is just some cheap um, liquid liner that I got. I think I even bought it from Family Dollar. It's LA Colors Liquid Gel Eyeliner. I need to make a trip to Ulta, but your girl works seven days and I don't have much time to run and buy stuff. So when I'm out, I get stuff. So it is what it is. Let's finish these eyes. Oh my God, once again, there it goes. Video got cut off. I'm just gonna buff this foundation into my face. Don't mind those swatches on my neck. Jeez. I'm using the L'Oreal, no, I'm sorry, Maybelline Fit Me in 335. I know this looks like some tribal paint, right? Okay, let me go and blend this out and put some powder on my face. Setting this face with powder. We're setting my highlights, rather. Oh my god, my nose is starting to run. Yeah, some of my makeup just came off with that, but it's okay. And that was the L'Oreal True Mesh Super Blend Powder in the, the number N4. And I'm actually going to set my face with the L'Oreal True Match Neutral N8. I actually wasn't supposed to set my highlight with that. I'm going to have to deepen that up. being summertime already my shade is changing so I have a few different shades of powder I'm gonna use my covergirl queen ebony bronze to do my contour of my nose that's lovely I'll put a little bit and then I'll blend it out all right guys so I'm back and this is the finished and completed look this is the unit that I won off of YouTube yes I did win it so what do you guys think Well, with that being said, this is the conclusion of this makeup tutorial and wig redo. 
Um, and like I always tell you ladies, thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And can even talk and subscribe. Good, bad, or indifferent. Every opinion matters. Let me know how I did. Let me know what I could have done differently. Like I said, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I just do what works for me. So with that being said, remember, every day can be a slay day. Thank you, ladies, and thank you for watching.